welcome to this channel international physics i am devi prasad pal today i would like to discuss about chandrasekhar limit so let us see every star changes in this universe almost at the end of the lifetime of a star it transforms into a five drop star the chandrasekhar limit is the maximum mass of a stable five drop star above which the star collapses to form a neutron star or black hole so what is the meaning of this statement that every star changes proxima centauri our sun every star in this universe in the sky are changes and almost at the end of the lifetime of a star every star transform into a five drop star every star almost at the end of its life lifetime that star changes into five drop star and there is a condition to that star whether change into black hole or neutron star or not there is a condition and that condition is chandrasekhar limit so chandrasekhar limit is is nothing but a limit of mass of the five drop star chandrasekhar limit states that the maximum mass of a stable five drop star above which the star collapses to form a neutron star or black hole that is if the five mass of the five drop star is less than chandrasekhar limit then the white drop star cannot transform into neutron star or black hole but if the mass of the white drop star is greater than chandrasekhar limit then the star must be changed into neutron star or black hole so chandrasekhar limit is associated with some mass of a white drop star and white drop star is a changed form of a star so let us see again the let us read it the chandrasekhar limit is the maximum mass of a stable white drop star above which the star plus to form a neutron star or black hole and the chandrasekhar limit is equal to 1.4 times the mass of our sun now the mass of our sun is 1.989 into 10 to the power 30 kg and we can get 2.78 Four six times ten to the power thirty kg. This is Chandrasekhar limit. If a white dwarf star, if if the mass of a white dwarf star is greater than this mass, then the white dwarf star changes into a neutron star or black hole. But if a white dwarf star, if the mass of a white dwarf star It is less than this mass. 
then the star cannot transform into Newton star of love. And this critical mass, this mass is known as Chandrasekhar limit. Let us see a discussion. Already I discussed about it. So, um, so now let us read it. Uh, that is, if the mass of a white drop star is greater than Chandrasekhar limit, then the star transforms into a neutron star or black hole. In other words, no white drop star cannot transform into neutron star or black hole if its mass is less than Chandrasekhar limit and which is 2.78 or 6 into 10 to the power 30 kg. So this is discussion about Chandrasekhar limit. And I made a note for your interest. This Chandrasekhar limit uh, was given by an astrophysicist S. Chandrasekhar, Su Brahmanian Chandrasekhar, an Indian scientist. He formulated this uh, in 1930. And a famous book of S. Chandrasekhar is The Mathematical Theory of Black Hole. The Mathematical Theory of Black Holes. This is a famous and renowned book of S. Chandrasekhar. And this was discussion about Chandrasekhar limit today. So so many thanks for watching this video. Thank you.